It, as for Everton, uh, as we said, it's been another season battling relegation for them. We've mentioned they're 48 yes, conceded yes. And, and where that ranks as far as Tottenham and Aston Villa are concerned. But they've only scored 34. Only Sheffield United have scored fewer goals in the Premier League this season. And, and uh, give that some ex context. They've scored 34. The team above them, Brentford, have scored 52 goals this season. Is there a sense if they can keep a clean sheet tonight with Brentford, Luton and Sheffield United in their next three, will that point be huge in them staying up? Would that be it, do you think? Absolutely. I think if they get a point tonight, it's more the psychological lift as well that yeah. it will give them for the running towards the end of the season. So, you know, when you're not scoring goals, I think automatically the, the, the head coach or the manager will almost fall back and go, OK, well, let's not concede and see if we can get on at the other end. I mean, tonight, I think the team selection will be will be interesting. You know, do you, do you even consider bringing in someone like Dan Juma who can offer you that threat in transition for, for Everton tonight? So I think team selection will be will be one to think about for, for Sean Dyche. So, I mean, is it, if you're asking me, will Everton stay up? I think they will. Um, I think they have enough and they have the manager to, to do that. Um, will it rest on tonight? Probably not. That is what I would say. I sort of having had the calculator out the last couple of days and then pen and paper, I think they're almost there, Rob. I think that win over Forest was absolutely massive for them. If you look at the gap, so they've got a five point gap on Luton, who we know are third bottom. Really out of form, Luton, by the way. One Premier League win in 13. Um, and they go to Luton next Friday. So that could be the pivotal game, really. But if you look at Luton's remaining games, Wolves, Everton, West Ham and Fulham, I've sort of looked at that and thought maybe they'll get four points out of it. Maybe if you're being generous, you say six. Even if it's six, that means that Everton need just one more point to, to stay clear of them. And then Burnley, just below Luton, they're the form team really down there at the moment. They've only lost one of their last seven. But they're seven points off Everton. And looking at Burnley's remaining games, we've got Man United, Newcastle, Tottenham. I mean, what a tough run that is at the end of a season. And then they finish with Forest, which potentially could be an absolutely enormous game on the last day of the season if Forest are still down there. But looking at those, I think maybe Burnley could maybe win that Forest game. And that's just plus, plus three to their total. So they're not getting close to Everton. So, yes, Everton need one point from Brenton, Brentford, Luton, Sheffield United. And then that final day game against Arsenal. I think there's a good chance they'll get substantially more than that during this run and then maybe it'll be a little bit more comfortable for them than it has been in recent seasons.